hello friends so in this new video we are going to learn one important trick which is a Pareto chart in power bi so what is the Pareto chart Pareto chart is very useful whenever we have to take one business decision for example we have one firm and there are so many complaints against the firm so what we have to do we have to select the category of search complaint which are of majority which makes majority of the portion of the complaint okay so how to do that we will learn today okay so basically in our today's data set we have one complaint data set okay so i got this data from internet only so basically in this particular data set there are three different types are uh, like three columns first one is of date column the second one is of complaint what type of complaint it is and based on the type of complaint we have decided the category so basically 10 to 11 complaint types are there and three categories are there first one is environment category second one is quality category and third one is service category we will see the, I'll show you the model as well so basically we have two tables here the first one is date table and second one is complaint and data okay so what we are going to do we are creating the Pareto chart okay so I'll just show you how to create it okay so go to your report page so this area is called as canvas where we are going to create the visual okay so i have just created two measures for showing the Pareto chart the first one is the complaint count so this is the formula we are just counting the rows i'll give you the formula in the description box or you can just mail it to me okay that you need the formula and the second one is Pareto percentage so this is the complete formula for Pareto percentage what you can do you can just copy the formula and paste it okay so the next thing is by using this Pareto percentage we have to take some decisions I'll tell you how to create the chart so the first one the very first thing is we will use this line and stacked column chart okay just click on line and stacked column chart so we have the chart here I'll just increase the size of this chart so on x-axis what we will show will show the complaint okay and on y-axis we are showing complaint count okay now what we will do we will draw one line okay we will draw one line for Pareto percentage okay so I'll just drag this Pareto percentage line yeah. so we have this line now what we will do we'll just format this visual so go and format your visual go to x-axis all values bold and black title bold black then y-axis same formatting for y-axis as well bold black and again title bold and black done now uh, the next thing is legend so for legend also the text will be bold and black okay and uh, one more thing which you can do is title so go to title make it bold and black okay so basic formatting we have done uh, we will just decide the background as well so go to effect background color you can use this one and for page background also just take the same color okay now what is the Pareto chart see basically it shows now I'll just show the data label okay so after showing the data label it will be more clear now see I have enabled the data label it means that see the first type of complaint is I have arranged all the complaints in ascending order okay so the first type of complaint is order mix up okay so order mix up makes for the total count of order mix up is 405 okay and it shares the majority of complaint okay and the second type of complaint is website not working so basically if you add total complaints it will make 100% and in that 100% the 20% is of order mix up 
37.4% is of order mix up and website not working properly. For example, you have to take one business decision that you have to reduce the complaint by 70%. Okay, so I'll just apply one condition here. Okay, what I'll do, I'll select this visual, go to column and for column color instead of default what i'll do uh, i'll use one function okay the format style will be rule okay and uh, what will be the rule if it is greater than zero number and if it is less than 0 0.7 percent then it should be red in color okay now what we have done we have substituted a number 0 0.7 it means that 70 percent now if you have to reduce the complaint by 70 percent so you have to focus on these four different complaints okay order mix up website not working properly absence of different mode of payment and long wait time now let's say you have to take one business decision in which you have to reduce the complaint by 90 percent okay so for that what you have to do just select your chart okay go to format your visual go to column okay so here the function is there okay so instead of this 70 percent just put let's say uh, you have to reduce the complaint by 85 percent just put 0 0.85 and click on ok we'll just change the color okay so for reducing the complaint by 85 percent you have to focus on these seven complaints okay so first three we have already discussed then apart from that we have behaving or rude weight stuff okay then poor food then dietary restrictions and all okay so this is a very useful chart Pareto okay so it shows on which category we have to focus for making the business decision okay so i hope you have liked this video i hope you got this trick you can use this Pareto chart in your power bi dashboard as well so thank you for joining me in this video thank you